very good day to you people my name is mohit and uh, guys today we'll be talking about the display property in css guys all the html elements can be displayed in either of the three ways the display can either be set to block or in line or the display could be set to none we will study all these three uh, properties at length when you set the display of an HTML element to block it means that it will take up the full width available from left to right it will not allow any other element to sit next to it okay beside it adjacent to it it will not allow no no but uh, uh, talking about the inline element it will allow uh, let's say another inline element to sit to the left of it or to the right of it it will welcome it uh, the other element beside it but that is not the case uh, when it comes to the block element block elements are kind of narcissistic dominant they will not allow anybody to sit beside them inline elements will allow um, let's check some examples of block elements h1 the paragraph tag the div tags are all examples of um, um, block elements one h1 element will not allow another h1 element to be next to it the same is the case with the uh, div tag guys mm. uh, one div tag uh, will not allow unless you uh, left float one div right float one div there are exceptions but usually one div will not allow the other div the other div will follow it it will come below it all right so guys uh, let's go to uh, get inside dream weaver jump inside dream weaver and uh, let's understand these uh, three kind of displays uh, through examples i'm going to hit on the create new html button and um, the first thing that I would want to do is I would want to change my view so from the designer view or the designer workspace uh, I'm going to my favorite uh, I'm going to my favorite classic view okay and uh, also what I would want to do is I would want to collapse everything outside the body tags in the code view guys everything that is inside the body tag is what actually is seen on the web page everything outside is not and uh, to m make us uh, easy uh, you know to make it easy for us to see and work the code view it's always a good idea to collapse uh, everything outside so i'm going to press the alt key and hit this icon and everything outside the body tag gets collapsed that doesn't mean it's lost it's still there but it's just not seen and it will make uh, us uh, you know it'll make uh, e it'll make it easier for us to work and see the uh, code view all very good so let's get started guys let me ins uh, write two uh, paragraphs here so i'm going to write uh, this is line number 1 and uh, hit enter and then i'm going to say this is line number 2 2 sorry guys uh, have a look in the code view both these uh, lines are now encapsulated uh, in the paragraph tags for convenience sake to make it look a little bigger what I'm gonna do is one by one I'm gonna change the P tag or the paragraph tag to H1 uh, tag I'll, I'll do the same with the other line this is line number two I'm gonna do the same alright so just have a look uh, now both these lines are encapsulated in h1 tags next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this plus button uh, it'll bring up uh, the new CSS rule I'm gonna apply a rule to both these h1 headers you now guys we just learned that h1 headers by their very nature are um, block elements so they will not allow one uh, h1 element to be beside the other h1 element all right so the selector name uh, for this new rule i'm gonna say display type all right i'm gonna say okay the contextual uh, selector type for the your uh, css rule or uh, my css rule is class i'm gonna say okay now guys uh, 
Dreamweaver is prompting me to uh, type certain rules for uh, the new uh, style that I'm creating, the new CSS rule that I'm creating. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to give it, a, let's say, mm, I'll go to the block category and uh, I'll set the display to block and uh, the background to, let's say, Mm, hash ffc let me also give it a border mm, I'll say solid thin and uh, a maroon colored border I'll go back to the box category and in fact I'm going to the box category for the first time and the width let's say uh, a 300 by a height of let's say 50 I think I'm done. I'm going to hit the OK button now. All right. Next, what I'll do, guys, is I'm going to select the first line and then I will hit the CSS button in the properties below. And to line number one, I'm going to apply the new style that I've just created, the new rule that I've just created it's called display type and the moment I do that guys notice that um, it actually gets a nice border a nice uh, background let me first uh, show it to you in the in my uh, preferred browser Firefox I will need to save the changes guys uh, in fact I'll call it test and uh, yes so guys uh, notice that uh, the style has been applied to line number one let me close up the browser, go back to Dreamweaver. I'm going to do the same thing with line number two. So I'll apply the new CSS rule called display type to line number two as well. And uh, let me show you the preview in my preferred browser, Firefox. Most customizable browser, I think, guys, is Firefox. All right, let me get back to Dreamweaver. Now guys notice when I click on uh, this rule display type the properties for display type are shown below here and here it says that the display type is block okay guys I'm gonna make certain changes to the display now okay I'm gonna make it in line this time and notice what happens line number two jumps and sits beside line number one and line number one doesn't have a problem at all it will allow line number two to uh, come and sit beside line number one let me save the changes to my file called test and guys as you can notice that uh, line number two is actually rubbing shoulders with the uh, line number one both are being a little pally now okay so uh, that's very nice also if you notice guys with the inline elements uh, they take up only as much as uh, of the width and the height is required they do not actually honor the width and the height if you notice in Dreamweaver uh, the height that I mentioned was 50 px the width that I mentioned was 300 in fact um, I can change it to anything let me change it to 100 and let me change the width to uh, let's say a 500 and let's say if actually uh, any difference has been made I'll preview uh, in my browser now and no so uh, we come to a conclusion that uh, the inline elements will take up only as much as uh, space that they they need they do not uh, need extra space they leave it they let it go let me go back to the definition here see the definition clearly says uh, inline elements take up only as much width as it needs and does not force new lines as we saw while as uh, a block element will take up the foot full width available and it has a line break before and after it yes that's correct um, let's let me get back to Dreamweaver now we have uh, checked examples of uh, the display in line we have checked examples of um, display block let's check uh, one more option which is called uh, inline block now it's, it's a mixture of uh, the inline elements and the block elements so uh, we'll not get a uh, an idea here in Dreamweaver. I need to get back to um, Firefox and check it out. All right. So, guys, uh, this is um, 
a nice blend of the inline elements and the block elements it will allow the element to present itself like a block I mean you can see the height and the width but what you really can't see uh, w w but since they are inline elements too line number one allows line number two to come and sit uh, next to it adjacent to it beside it no problem at all so guys um, I hope I've actually conveyed uh, through this tutorial the difference between inline elements block elements and inline block elements a nice blend of uh, the two okay let me close the browser up go back to Reweaver and let's check the last uh, option which is the none the display none option guys uh, everything disappears as if by magic there's nothing at all on the stage now okay and uh, what happens here is when you use the display none it actually uh, removes those elements from uh, the stage completely I mean that space is not void it can uh, that space becomes void and then it can be filled up with any other element okay we have another option uh, through CSS which is uh, the visibility a hidden option in which case the space does not become void it only appears invisible but the space is still there it does not allow any element to fill up that space but when you use the display none property okay the space actually becomes void which means uh, any other element can come and sit there so guys I hope uh, you enjoyed and uh, learned a lot from this tutorial I'll see you next time with yet another Dreamweaver CS5 uh, tutorial or it could be flash uh, with ActionScript 3. Bye-bye. Ciao.